video is like sums in my throat. <laughs> Okay, so what is up you guys? I'm back with another video. It's your girl, Nature G, also known as Glam is T. And welcome to the family, y'all. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, then y'all already know how this go. Okay, guys, so this is my last video of 2020. Like, that sounds crazy to say. But I'm here today with a 2020 overall faves video. I asked you guys on my Instagram, what did you want to see? And you guys said a 2020 faves to end off the year. So... Let's jump right into it. If you are subscribed, then that means you family. If you are not and you are new here and you like what you see, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It'll be right here on the screen, of course, down below. Join the family. We're the lit fam, okay? We small, but we mighty, okay? We're small, but mighty. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so this is going in no particular order. I have... A lot of different faves here and I'm looking like a lot of them are makeup products. I have a fragrance. I have a sneaker for you guys, which is like, girl, you only wear sneakers like that. But um, I'm going to just go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to start with beauty because that um, is the bulk of my favorite products. So let's start quickly with my concealers. So these have been my favorite concealers. These are the Morphe um concealer i don't know if they have an actual name it'll be on the screen of course and link down below these are my two favorite concealers they are very dry so i use them to carve out my brows i use the darker shade which is in c4.55 for my brows um which i can also use as a highlight but it's really my skin tone and then for a highlighted shade i go in with c4.25 i've been using this concealer now since like i want to say like last february um honestly so it has been one of my yearly faves i brought like three bottles of this y'all it is the bomb let me back up hold on okay that's a little bit better my bun is still like cut off but it's okay um my next fave are two different products from two different companies so i have another concealer which is the born this way multi sculpting concealer which i've had forever but i just started to love this product so that's why it's in the 2020 phase because i've had it for so long i do like the foundation as well so in the foundation i'm in spiced rum which is too dark for me as you can see i mix it um and then in my concealer i'm in the color maple love 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 this concealer i have it on now it gives you the full coverage it is drying but not too too dry because you know dry skin girl on this channel but it is one of my 2020 fave it is on my like to know it i will try to link most of these products on my like to know if you guys want to try it so yeah because you know we're doing big things in 2021 period my next favorite foundation is the oma beauty y'all please excuse that is a mess the oma beauty foundation um Oh, it's called Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I did not know it was soft matte and hydrating. I love this foundation. I'm in the color Brown Sugar T4W. Again, on the screen and down below. It is a little dark for me, but in the summertime, this is my shade. You probably like, girl, no, it's not. But it is. Um, it is the bomb. When I say you can wear that foundation all freaking day and your foundation is still flawless i love it and uma is black owned so if you're looking for a black owned beauty brand to get into try uma i want to try more of their products in 2021 so i will guys i will know i will keep you guys updated on that and my next product is also a black owned beauty company it is from the creators of beauty bakery and it is their flower powder so i'm in the shade plantain which is a caramel color I can probably show you guys what it looks like because if you're like a brown skin girl like me you're probably like well we need to see it so it's this color i have it on now and y'all it just gives you a flawless look a flawless finish if you're like me you have multiple powders um but this is one of my favorites and if you're getting into makeup and don't want to spend a lot on the laura mercier on the hourglass on the chanel powders baby get you some beauty bakery and like i said last all day it is affordable and it's black on so baby you can't you can't lose with that and they come at i think it comes in like four to five maybe six different shades for everyone to try so that is my setting fave let me breathe okay so this is my next fave y'all i definitely mentioned this 
in another favorites video but i don't know which one i've been using this mascara for two years now this is the buxom big tease mascara it will be on the screen i don't like I'm not gonna say I don't like any other mascara, but this is my ultimate favorite. I don't even travel with this because just in case I lose the bag. This is my favorite mascara. It gives you every everything you need. It is a plumping mascara. Do you see the tip of this? Like it doesn't clump, and I have on falsy, so I'm gonna do a little fake demonstration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that. Um, it is a plumping mascara, and y'all, it's just the ultimate mascara for me. Y'all can do the better than sex. Y'all can do the better than sex dupe. I got all of that over there. But if I'm doing my makeup, I'm picking this one up right here. I'm not picking up anything else. Because why? I travel with the other ones because, like I said, I don't want to lose that. But whenever I'm out, I have a backup because it's my favorite, 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 favorite mascara. Like, and I wear lashes, but that's still my favorite mascara. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It goes on before the lashes. Like, <laughs> why would we not, baby? Um, I don't have any brows or anything else. So I'm going to jump right into my next product, which is a lip product. Y'all, I've been wanting to put y'all on this, but then again, I don't want to. But I am because y'all my family. Y'all, this is the sugar. I'm sorry. This is the Tree Hut Sugar Lip Sugar. Is it sugar? Sugar. Sugar Lips Lip Butter. Y'all, I got this in like july and y'all know how we all hold on y'all know how we all got makeup products and lippies this is my uh, some of my lippies right and we all keep other stuff around us this is my nighttime lip lip mask this is my daily no y'all know we lose stuff this has been my go-to it smells like heaven it smells like candy if you know anything about tree hut they have good scents but this y'all it just feels like butter on the lips like it says it is a lip butter it is the bomb it is like 6.99 you get it at ulta i bought it and i put it in my purse and i won't take it out of my purse because i always have to have it on me it is the best the best lip butter i've had it's not sticky it doesn't leave your lips like ashy and chapped when it like dries up it doesn't give like the last the nasty aftertaste or the white scum on your lips you know what i'm talking about you know what I'm talking about. Get y'all some Tree Hut lip butter. And it's only this set. I really want them to come out with like a mint one and like a vanilla. Because this one smells like, woo, candy. Woo. Boo. Can't go wrong with that. Boom, we done with the makeup phase, period. Now let's jump into skin. So you guys, I don't have, I only have two skin products. Um, And that's because... I switch out my skincare quite often just to see what works, what doesn't work. A lot of stuff does not work. But this one product works for me. I've been using it for three years now. This is the Aveeno Clear, Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser with um, Silic Acid. It's an acne treatment with soy asterisks. It is a foam. Like I said, this product works on my skin because like most black women, women of color, I have hyperpigmentation on different areas of my skin, especially around my mouth, my eczema breaks out. This calms my skin so much. It is not over drying. It does not have a scent. Um, it's not harsh on the skin. Like when I wash my face, I don't feel like, you know, when you like do like this and your skin feels like plastic, no. This is my nighttime face wash. I do use a morning face wash. Um, if you guys want a skin routine, please let me know. Um, but this has been my go-to for the last three years, like I said, two to three years um, for my nighttime wash. And then I just go in with a moisturizer at night. Get on this. If you have a dry skin, if you have eczema, if you have different, you know, different textures or different um, hyperpigmentations on your face, try this. And I also use it on my neck. I'll try to show you guys. You see, my neck is also different colors, but I've been using it. And look, it's not that bad. It's still a little discolored. But it used to be 10 times worse. Um, so I always try to use whatever face wash I'm using. I go on my neck really good because, what is that? <laughs> because you should, but that's been my face wash go-to. And then my next product is a product that I mentioned, I believe in like my fall phase video. It is the Bliss, um, the Bliss Gentle Moisture Cream for Sensitive Skin. It is their Rose Gold Rescue Collection. And y'all, again, it'll be on my, it's all my like to know it. If you don't know what like to know it is, I, I'll mention it at the end of this video. But y'all, I've been using this for a few months and it is easily one of my faves. That's what it looks like. It's no scent. I'm real funny about moisturizers on my face. I don't try many moisturizers on my face because 
I'm so sensitive. I have a little breakout here now that you really can't see, but I don't know what it's from. I have been trying different face washes and I'm like, girl, cut it out, stick what you know. I'm trying to venture out and my skin be like, what are you doing? Why? <laughs> so this has been a really good dupe to using um, just hydrocortisone on my face twice a day. Now I only use it once because I use this at nighttime and it's really, really, really smooth, no scent really rich on the skin and i really like that because girl it's winter time and my skin is again dry as dry as it but we're done with the body products um honestly because everything else i've mentioned in my face body washes things like that i switch them out so often i don't really have one specific thing for the whole year so i don't even want to give you guys any false advertisement like girl that's not even your face <laughs> for the year but we're going into my favorite thing next, which is fragrance. And I narrowed all of my favorite fragrances down to one for the year. Just one. My favorite fragrance, I will say, for the year is this one right here. This is Miss Chanel Gabrielle Essence. And it was hard, y'all. I was looking at my dresser like, what? Like, how do I narrow down a fragrance? But I had to give you guys one because y'all know I'm huge on scents. And this perfume honestly is timeless and that's why I picked it for my 2020 faves because this one's not going out of style. I don't think any perfume goes out of style, but you know, you do have those fragrances that you are so hyped about and then it just like sits on your dresser for like six months and then you smell like, oh, I should throw that on again. But this one, if I pick it up two years from now, it will still be a hit. So I picked this one for the year. I have the small bottle like you guys. I always mention I like the one to 1.7 full ounces because i have so many fragrances there's no point in buying a three ounce bottle of perfume for me because it's going to take me two to three years to finish because i have so many but if you need a timeless fragrance it is not really warm it's warm it's warm it's a little floral but it's not overpowering try it try any chanel but if you really want to get fancy try chanel gabriel essence put, say nature g put you on i won't even I ain't gonna pat myself on the back and I ain't gonna, but I am. Because baby, it is just a timeless, timeless fragrance. Um, and that's the only fragrance I really want to give you guys. I want to give you guys all products that I genuinely loved this year and that I will be taking it into 2021 with me um, without any hesitation. My next one is a candle. And y'all, I've been loving this candle again for at least two years. This is a eucalyptus mint, guys. They changed the packaging so often but thumbnail um this 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 one right here it just gives you clean fresh relax everything you can put this on after a long day you can put this on after you clean your entire house and you're looking around drinking your wine and you smelling that candle it's just like huh i did this okay this is that candle y'all i go through at least throughout the year I won't exaggerate I'll say about three or four just because I have other candles I do like to try but I always pick this up if there's any kind of sale like candle day or any other sale that I'm just running low on candles like if they're like 12 bucks I always pick it this one because like I said it's one of those scents like you just need it in your home like oh uh, you can put it in your kitchen you can put it in your bathroom you can put it in your bedroom it's one of those candles like you know I have certain candles like any lemon candle it's a kitchen fragrance for me that's just me any musky candle it's like bedroom but this right here you can put this in any room and it just fills the room with a great smell. So if you need a candle to try, if you're not too big on candles, try this one first and you let me know. You let me know, you let me know. Okay, so my next, uh, my next two favorites are, I guess, shoes or footwear. But y'all, I mentioned these. Thumbnail. I mentioned these in my fall favorites, but of course these are a different pair. I haven't worn them yet because I got every single color. These are the Paris slippers, which again will be linked down below. Am I like to know it, you guys? If you're not a slipper girl, then maybe you won't like these. Or maybe you will like these because they're such a comfortable slipper. I was raised to not walk around with things, without things on my feet. So this, I brought every color. I brought every, I got pink, I got the brown, I got the cheetah, I got the black, I got the white, I got every color because they were $10. Y'all, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to get these in 2021 because Target may have taken them off the site, but like I said, check the links down below. But y'all, these are so bomb. Like, I love slippers and I have big feet, y'all. I'm gonna keep it transparent with y'all. Your girl wears a size 12 women's shoe. 
um yeah and he's a size xl so if you got big feet like me get you a pair because it'd be hard to find slippers and then also i stocked up because it's hard to find like a fuzzy slipper in the summertime i wear slippers in the summertime these are they're open toed and then they have like the opening on the sides so in the summertime i'll still put these on so i got every color because i didn't want to not have slippers this summer period when one get old i'm gonna switch them out um and like i said those go up to a size 12 women's um they fit me really good they're super 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 comfortable and super good quality like i didn't know how much slippers cost until i was like looking up other slippers and you got slippers like i have a pair of ugg slippers and my ugg slippers are like they're like 100 bucks and they're good slippers but it's like but if i could get a, a slipper for 10 dollars, i'm gonna get this slipper for 10 y'all if y'all can still get them online if you can order them or you can even find them in store get you some slippers these are even a great gift for 2020 i gave out lots and lots of slippers because i just feel like everyone needs a good quality slipper to have around the house you know and i don't like having nothing on my feet my feet get cold super fast they're freezing now um and then also i just don't like picking up things on my feet and then getting in the bed it's not my thing not judging but it's not my thing but if you need a good slipper try them just try them they're ten dollars if you don't like them I mean, it's ten dollars. It's not like you spent like a hundred on like UGG slippers. Like, <laughs> so that's not the worst thing in the world, right? It's really not. Um, and my last favorite product is something that I wouldn't think to have put in my faves, but I'm looking around my room like, girl, what did you love this year? Like, love. Oh, I have another thing too. So, last two things are these right here. These are my pine green ones, and I'm not a sneaker girl. But I wanted these so freaking bad. <laughs> I wanted these so freaking bad and I got them. I didn't have to go through a reseller. I didn't have to wait online to see if I was checking out. I literally woke up at 9 o'clock in the morning and I ordered them and that was it. And I didn't think that a lot of people would want them, but everyone loves this sneaker. And like I said, I'm not a sneaker girl. I love me some heels, but I really wanted them. I'm becoming more of a sneaker person, not a sneaker head. No, I'm, I'm too girly for that. But I wanted them so bad. <coughs> I wanted them so freaking bad and I got them and I've styled them uh, a few different ways already. Um, I may wear those tonight. Yeah, I may wear those tonight thinking about it. <laughs> um, and they're just really comfortable. I love ones um, now that I'm becoming more of a sneaker aware person and i also love me some yeezys i'm not a fan of kanye so i did not want to give him any of my coins but y'all he got my coins because they're comfortable pair three fetties they're comfortable so yeah but let me hurry and wrap this up so my last product is a beauty product but it is going to be my favorite lip combination because i get asked all the time what am i wearing so can i find the pieces really quickly dang it don't even see it oh i can mention that too all right, quickly, I don't even see cork on my dresser, my vanity, because I don't know. This video is almost 20 minutes. My favorite lip products are cork lip pencil. This is not cork. This is just a brown I got from the Beauty Supply store. I don't know where cork is. And cork's like this big now because I've been sharpening it, so I don't see it up here. But any color brown, this is literally a BSN lip pencil from Beauty Supply store. And it's in this color brown. Love, 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 love a brown lip line as you can tell this lipstick i've been wearing this lipstick now for two years this is a truffle tease by l'oreal l'oreal yeah l'oreal paris their lipsticks y'all my lip combo is really inexpensive really expensive this is the my favorite nude lipstick like i have a thousand one max i have a thousand one liquid lipsticks but this one it is in the shade again truffle tease will be down below 9 30 go get it go get it go get it if you're gonna get anything go get it and then my favorite lip gloss which is running completely out this is the buxom lip gloss in the color samantha she's gone it is lip pumping it is my favorite go-to nude favorite go-to nude lip combo i will never stray away from it i'm gonna pick up another samantha i always pick up these when i go to like walgreens or walmart because i mean they're like seven bucks from anywhere and then I will mention this as an alternate gloss. This is the Morphe lip gloss in the color Freebird. Love, 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 love this gloss. And I only mentioned this because honestly I saw it and I was like, girl, you love this gloss? But look at this. I didn't have this on earlier. Doesn't it look like I just, it went? 
Look at that. It doesn't matter what nudes you have on, baby. But if you put on a brown pencil and a nude lip and then maybe some gloss because you can't go wrong with the dollar, not dollar, dollar ninety nine ultra lip from the beauty supply store. That's my favorite. That's that's it. Those going with me 21, 22, 23, 24, baby. Can't go wrong with a nude. Like I said, I do like Cork by Mac if you're like a higher end girl. Um, but I don't always use that. I will use you know whatever really is in my grasp oh is this it oh i found it cork by mac can't go wrong with it and then i've also been loving the color aloof by mac which is a pinky pink um it doesn't it's not this pink when it goes on but anything brown lip nude center with the gloss on top is t's favorite is nasia g's favorite it's always going to be my go-to lip so my lip products may change but the colors they pretty much look the same um that's for sure with me um but yeah okay that wraps up this video and 2020 like that wraps up 2020 on my channel it feels crazy to say that um i've gotten way more love than i expected within these last couple of months on youtube so thank you guys so 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 much um you guys are my family i always say like we're small but we're mighty we're only gonna grow but i'm paying attention to all 300 of you that have been following me um, from the beginning or if you're just joining you know i love you guys so much like i said everything will be linked down below um everything will be on my like to know it i'll be creating boards for you and as we go into 2021 i look forward to just growing with you guys and sharing with you guys y'all i have so much you guys may be getting a 2021 video sooner than you think um for sure a sit down talk through video just to talk about things and catch up but i'm super blessed to be here on my little platform you know sharing with you guys and loving on you guys and you loving on me um but let me know in the comments what you want to see let me know what are your 2021 goals if you don't mind sharing hit me up on any of my socials at nasia g underscore 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 five underscores on twitter there's no underscores but everything's nasia g now i switched everything over i love you guys so much and i hope you have a blessed and safe new year's and i'll see you in the next one in next year i love you guys so 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 much bye guys Mwah.